welcome back to the channel and um today we are going to be recreating this logo right over here um this is actually not made by me it's by a designer named classic rampage so you can look him up on twitter he makes pretty cool logos so let's get started the first thing i am going to do is i'm going to make the background darker just like that and i'm going to grab the ellipse tool i'll shift and alt as i drag this out i'm going to be creating the planet first now instead of the purple theme he has going on here i'm going to make mine blue so let's go ahead let's give this a blue color something like that should be fine now we're going to take our pencil make a new layer and we can this little planet shape close it off hit shape right hold alt as you go in between these two layers over here and this icon should appear just want to click and it's going to create a clipping mask just like that now we're going to change this color like that right click go into blending options and we're going to head into inner shadow make this white normal and make the angle negative 90 degrees and bring the choke up the size down just like that actually you can actually you can probably adjust the angle a little bit if you want and then we're just going to lower the opacity we're gonna add a drop shadow you're gonna want it to be black and the spread all the way up size down at the angle it's going to be 90 I'm just gonna turn this down seems fine to me let me see now select the ellipse and create a layer this is going to make one underneath the shape we created earlier and this is going to be the second layer so just make a shape however you want close it off hit shape now now i'm going to change the color this time i'm going to choose a darker color instead right click on this copy the layer style and you can paste the effects here i'm actually going to change the color a little bit this one over here i'm going to remove the inner shadow just keep the drop shadow over here just like that now you want to create a new layer and just to create the last bits finish it off i'm going to select the original color and just make it a little bit brighter and just paste the effects now that we have this create a new layer again um this is going to be the shadow so you just want to click and drag and get a shape like this put this on top of everything else and just go let's just turn this down duplicate this Control t right click and flip it around this is going to be the highlights and turn this one up now as you can see in this logo there are these little circles right so that's what we are going to do take the ellipse tool let's make these circles i'm gonna change the colors to whites and just put them change this to overlay and you can take this and just put it around the logo actually i don't like this color over here so i'm gonna change this now we're gonna take the same circles and this time we're gonna make these dark and place them near the bottom now with that i think we have our finished planet all right we're just gonna group it up and make a duplicate of it and just copy it now we're gonna type out our text i'm using this font called Arison comic it's free to download you can just look it up on google all right i'm just gonna place it right in the middle and i'm going to change the color to a light blue and i'm gonna use my pencil create a new layer let's do some effects and go overlay should be fun we add a stroke and something like that drop shadow and i'm just gonna use the same color um i think this looks better now what else do we have the the little ring left so i'm actually just going to pencil this As you can see there's a uh, some effects on this so we're going to go in a shadow like that and we're just gonna make this dark 
add one more and this is going to be the highlights so let's just go all right i think that is fine and we're just gonna place this on the planets we're just gonna cut it off here and just hit delete on your keyboard and there you go here is the text and that is your finished logo if you want you could merge these two together and just add a final stroke just so everything just kind of fits together and as you can see here is your finished logo um how do you present this you could copy this make this five and maybe just add a little outer glow to it and um there you have it that is how you make this logo right over here um if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video